Hi, this is me. I'm a 21-year-old Austrian Dutch ski jumper. Being an athlete isn't always easy. You're constantly dealing with pressure, setbacks, victories and non-stop ups and downs. On social media, you always see the good times, the victories and the achievements. But there is more to that. It's a journey and a process with both the good and the bad times. A journey of glory and disappointment. It's a journey of victories and failures and you always have to keep on going. I want to take you along on this exciting journey. So this is Keep Going. I am Sarah Marita Kramer. I am 21 years old and I'm a Dutch girl because I am born in the Netherlands. I've lived there for seven years and then um, I moved with my family to Austria. Um, I can remember that in the fourth class of the school we had uh, with the ski club such a, a competition just with alpine skis on the ski jumping hill in Selfeld and I was like okay let's try it and I was pretty good at it and it was fun and the adrenaline you are feeling during such a jump is yeah it's just something different and I think that's what yeah made me decide to change to the ski jumping um, club instead of skiing. <laughs> when people ask me what do you want to become I always said I want to be a ski jumper and uh, I want to be the best. In the last class I can remember that I wanted to stop and I can remember that Phil, um, the coach where I started with, um, <laughs> like he got the news and um, okay Sarah wants to stop and he was like okay uh, uh, interesting and I always was like okay if I go for it I go for it with a thousand percent and then he asked me okay um, let's try it one more summer and one more winter and then after that you can decide because he asked me if there's still a little bit of a fire burning in my um, burning inside and I was like okay yeah something is still there and I think it's too early to give it up. Um, it was always my big dream. And we set some goals. Okay, let's start with top 15 in the World Cup. And that was our main goal. And then just, yeah, go on from that point. And Lillehammer was the first World Cup and I was already in the top 10. And that was already like, okay, uh, hard work pays off. Uh, it's fun and I'm enjoying the journey and um, yeah, let's see where this is all going. And from that point on, it just went so fast. Sapporo, I had my first World Cup victory. Yeah, basically out of nowhere. I mean, everybody knew that. Um, yeah, I mean, I was in the top 10, but suddenly you're the last ski jumper on the top of the hill. <laughs> Yeah, from that point on, my career really started to explode. But uh, I was not thinking about things that could stop me. And suddenly there came some setbacks. And that's the point where you really <laughs> have to deal with keep on going. I went there as a favorite. And I mean, I was feeling really well. And then during the competition, during the first round, I had one of my best jumps ever. Um, and I jumped really far, but through that I landed really bad. And already before the competition, I told during the interview, okay, if you land bad, um, there's the possibility that you lose a medal. And so was it. <laughs> um, I landed bad and in the second jump, they um, changed the gate just before me. Um, I was the last jumper, but additional to that, I had a really bad jump and yeah, jumped too short and I got fourth. So that was really painful. That was so close to a medal and becoming world champion. And suddenly you were, yeah, just watching the ceremony um, without taking medal home. From the point on where I decided to keep on going, I had this big goals like, okay, the world champs, um, overall World Cup winner and then Olympic season and an uh, Olympic medal. That's like, I think for every athlete, the biggest dream. 
I was like, okay, what could stop me from going to the Olympics? Like getting sick, injuries, stuff like that. So I tried to do things to prevent myself from getting those things. I said like, okay, I will go into quarantine three weeks before the Olympic Games because um, I really want to show there what I'm, yeah, what I'm capable of and I really want to fight for a medal. First of all, we had the World Cup before um, heading to Beijing. It was in Willingen. I can remember that in Willingen I started to feeling a little bit sick. Yeah, then we had to do a PCR test again and uh, yeah, it was positive. So that was, I think, my biggest setback throughout my career. It was um, pretty crazy. I could not believe it because I was in quarantine and I was preventing myself. Then I was sitting at home watching the Olympic Games on television. I mean, that's what makes sports so exciting and this journey especially, but it's not always fun and uh, takes a lot of energy. But um, when you get through those setbacks, that feeling is just the best feeling ever. Because of the setbacks, the victories were even better. The overall World Cup, um, that was in the Olympic season, um, where I had to stay at home. Um, I was leading the World Cup before and after that um, COVID thing, I was just telling myself, okay, keep on going because you have that other big dream. Um, your childhood dream, getting over a World Cup winner and you're really close to it, just keep on fighting and um, yeah, I'm really proud of becoming World Cup overall winner that season and um, especially after that and that victory just, uh, I don't know, I cannot even describe how great that feeling was, it was really great. That's something I try to tell me all the time and um, yeah, if I overcome a setback, I feel like, okay, I'm strong and I've learned something throughout the setback and I think that's really, um, yeah, how I see it and how I try to live it. <laughs>